Hi, I'm Peter Boyer again, and I would like to present past perfect simple tense for you. This is the seventh tense on my on my list, uh, the seventh out of the twelve tenses. We are going to have five different uses, so please give your maximum attention. The scheme. Subject plus had plus verb 3. So subject plus had, had is the auxiliary verb, and verb 3, you know, that is past participle. And uh, in a sentence, because uh, we deal with, we, 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 with past perfect simple, we deal with two past actions, and the relationship between these two past actions, then we will have a past simple action also. So subject plus had plus verb 3 or past participle is the past perfect simple action and the other one is a past simple action. Another scheme would be subject plus had plus verb 3 plus the time indicators before, after, or by the time. Uses. First use. Now you're going to understand it better as I explain you uh, the first use. Uh, past perfect simple expresses the relationship of two past actions. It's very important. We have two past actions and they are related. One past action happened before the other past action, right? So the first action had been finished before the second action. So we have one action that had been finished or completed by the time or before the other action. The first action which happened before the other action is in past perfect simple and the one that happened later is past simple. Keywords before, after, by the time and when. Example, I had already finished my homework before my father came home. The finished action here is I had already finished my homework. So the first action is that I had already finished my homework. The second one is my father came home. The first action is in past perfect simple. I had already finished uh, my homework before my father came home. My father came home is simple past. By the time we arrived to the market, they had packed their bags. Okay? Uh, right, by the time we arrived to the market, they had packed their bags. First action. They had already packed their bags. They finished it. And by the time we arrived, we arrived is the second action because it happened later. By the time we arrive, we, uh, we arrived, yeah, by the time we arrived, they had left. As simple as that. Good. Second uh, one, second use. Uh, for a past action that had been completed before a definite time in the past. Right? So for a past action that had been completed before a definite time in the past, not before another action. By then, we had consumed the cake. Yes? By then. Alright? By Sunday, we had booked the tickets. It's very important that by then and by Sunday uh, are... Uh, times, definite times, that are in the past also. So by then we had consumed the cake 
is in the past and before that we had consumed the cake by Sunday we had booked the tickets Sunday has to be in the past also so let's say today is I don't know Saturday Friday Thursday and Sunday compared to today is in the past so by Sunday, which is, which is in the past, we had booked the tickets. So before Sunday, which is also in the past, we had booked the tickets. Third use. For a past action which had been completed before a past event. I had con uh, con uh, convinced, I had convinced my wife uh, to be a good husband before the wedding, right? I had convinced my wife to be a good husband before the wedding. The wedding is in the past and it's a past event, not a past action. Well, it's an action also, but here uh, we focus on an event. So we have a past event and before that something had happened I had convinced my wife to be a good, a good husband this is the first action before the, the wedding and this is the event in the past right? Uh, they had found uh, a name for the baby before his birth they had found a name for the baby before his birth. The birth is the event and before that past event because this is also an event but it's in the past the baby's birth it's a, it's a past event and before that they had found a name for the baby. Uh, yeah, third Good. Fourth use. Indirect speech, past, per, uh, present perfect simple, uh, or no, past, past simple, yes, to past perfect simple. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have opened the window, he said. He said that he had opened the window. Now this is important that he said that he had opened the window. When we have indirect speech, uh, then uh, as we know that past simple action will be transformed into past perfect simple action. Yes, a past simple action will turn into past perfect simple and this also happens with present uh, perfect simple so in both cases uh, there will be past perfect simple I have opened the window he said this is present perfect simple he said that he had opened the window and if we have past simple like I opened the window he said he said that he had opened the window uh, of course with past simple a time indicator would help fifth use to indicate that an action was prevented or stopped before it was completed again I would like to repeat to indicate that an action was prevented or stopped before it was completed. Here we have an interruption. The teacher had wiped the blackboard before I finished copying the new words. Yes? So, your action was going on but the teacher had interrupted it, had 
prevented it or had stopped it before your action was completed. I would like to repeat, the teacher had wiped the blackboard, this stops, interrupts and prevents the action to be completed. The teacher had wiped the blackboard before I finished copying the new words. Thank you very much for your attention and see you.